Now, I want to say that any amount of harm is unacceptable and too much. But I also want to make sure that this hysteria, you know, that this doesn't drive a hysteria and that we look at these numbers in context so that we can make responsible decisions about what to allocate um, in that context. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez facing criticism this week after dismissing fear of nationwide crime spikes as, as you heard her say, hysteria. Native New Yorker and veteran Desi Cuellar is looking to challenge AOC in 2022 and joins me now with his reaction. Thanks for being here. I mean, you heard her preface it by saying, look, you know, none of this is okay. But then she goes on to talk about hysteria, and it seems like that just buries everything that she said previously then. What is your reaction? I mean, it's just, it's, to be honest, it's just grateful. It's, you know, her downplaying it all, saying that it's just headlines about percentage increases. It just goes to show you that she's willing to dehumanize her own borders just to reshape the narrative. And, and you know, furthermore, for her to say that it's just hysteria, as if it's all in our heads, it, it makes her as cold and callous about people losing their lives. I mean, as, as Cuomo was when he downplayed the COVID-19 nursing home deaths. So what made you decide to want to challenge her? I got tired of having somebody that claims to represent the Hispanic community, me being a Latino myself, it's just the fact that she calls herself a democratic socialist when socialism has destroyed so many Hispanic lives, families. I mean, it's, it's just, I don't think that somebody who is embarrassed of this country should have any business holding public office. So I just, I had to do something about it and that's why I decided to run. Wow. Well, here's what the National Fraternal Order of Police says on her comment on hysteria. Quote, the National Fraternal Order of Police, AOC, said the quiet part out loud. The narrative matters more to her than people's lives. Dismissing the crime crisis across the country, saying it's just, quote, hysteria, is textbook gaslighting. AOC, those percentage increases are mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters. I mean, they make a good point there. When you put faces on it and, and you put the names on these faces, you know, and, and they are, they all have mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, you know, whatever the case may be, they all have family, they all have friends. Um, they're not just numbers. And I think it's important that we get back to that, remembering that. Yeah, 100% agree. It's, I feel like it's, it's part of her pattern. You could tell that since she's basically never in her district until it's campaign season. And now she's, like you said, reducing the, the people that are victims of these crimes to just numbers or, you know, just headlines that, that's being used to, you know, cause hysteria. It's just, it's, uh, it's disrespectful. I want to get your opinion on this before we let you go. A Bronx shooting suspect is off the hook after the judge decides the jury isn't diverse enough. Let's go ahead and pull up the quote from the judge, and this reads, quote, the defendant has produced clear statistical evidence of underrepresentation of black and Latino individuals in the pool from which his grand jury was drawn and a jury selection process that was susceptible to abuse. Uh, what do you make of this? Because I think that this is going to be an eye-opener for a lot of people. I'm not surprised with uh, with the judge doing that. I mean, uh, Judge Annalise Torres, she, I'm sure that she's not embarrassed for, for tossing that court case out. She said that he established a violation of his Fifth Amendment, right, by basically saying that there were too many white people on the jury. I'd like for Judge Annalise to show us where in the Fifth Amendment it says that there needs to be a specific quota for any race to serve on the jury. Because, I mean, the last that I heard, justice is supposed to be blind. And we're only supposed to care about the facts when it comes to court cases. And our peers aren't people of our same skin color. Our peers are supposed to be our fellow Americans. So. Okay. Desi Cuellar, thanks for joining us this morning and keep us updated. And we'll continue to follow and see, uh, you know, how your race goes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay.